Good morning and welcome to Thursday. Got up, got a shower, feel great early in the morning, made breakfast, which I'm super excited about because it looks delicious, but I wanted to complain about something related to the toast. In particular, let me show you the design of our toaster because it's wild to me. Do you, you notice anything, anything wrong with this? I do. Why on earth is the cord coming out the front? This is where it connects. Why? I don't understand. Like, in order to plug this in, if you want to have access to the controls, it's got to go over here, which means the cord is going, you know, around this, you know, hot device. Why wouldn't it just come out the back? Why? I don't know. Anyway, the agenda for today is to continue working hard. Um, I had alluded to something yesterday uh, at the end of the vlog that we'd be doing on Sunday, so we got to get some stuff done. Um, but we should. I mean, we're up early in the morning. I think it's going to be a, a really good, productive day of work. And it all starts with these really, really amazing, beautiful, light, fluffy eggs. Several hours later and work block one is finished, which means it's time for lunch. And we, uh, we're heating up the shrimp that we had on that really weird salad. <laughs> yeah. But we ditched the salad part, and we also covered it in barbecue sauce because everything's better. We didn't better. cover it. It's a very light coating. We covered it in barbecue sauce, but that's fine because that stuff's delicious. Uh, it's lunchtime for us, which means it's also lunchtime for little fellas here. You want some of this? Huh? You want some of this? Is that what you want? Yeah? Here you go, a little bit for you. And yeah, I spilled a bunch, but there you go. That's, you got it. I've had people ask me in the past, um, how is it that the cats get enough food? Because anytime I ever show myself feeding them their dry food, it's it's always just a very tiny amount. Um, I don't really have an answer for that. Uh, I feed them multiple times throughout the day though, so they get a lot, they get fed throughout the day, and I've got it figured out where they get to maintain their weights. I don't know, I regularly weigh the cats, and they stay the same weight, so I know I must be feeding them the right amount, so I just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, and I'm the one that feeds them now. Uh, you'll feed, feed them, them the wet, because mm -hmm. they get wet in the morning and the night. Everything else is not measured out. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I just know what to do. It's almost become like a bowl of gumbo. It's good though. Mm -hmm. Much better than it was on the salad. It's now dinner time and we've been working our way through some of the leftovers that we have, but tonight we actually don't have enough leftovers for both of us. So Mao is taking on the leftovers, which is the cauliflower and shrimp and vegetables. I'm making pancakes, which I'm excited about. I love pancakes. Also, tonight I played Shadow of Mordor, and it was really freaking fun. Like, I got to play an entire hour of it because first 20 means nothing. Um, and uh, that hour was good. Like, it was really, it was really fun. It just turned out really beautiful. They really did. I made them uh, bigger than we normally make them. Normally we make them kind of small just because they're easier to flip. And this time I was like, nah, I want them big. Seriously though, Shadow of Mordor was really, was really fun. Um, the combat was just so good. Like, a lot of times you play games that are really heavy on story, and the game part is not great. And it was just so refreshing because it felt like I was playing a video game like the whole time. There was a little story bit at the beginning. And then after that, it was like, you better be, keep pressing buttons. You have to stay alert. You've got to counter, you've got to attack, you've got to do all this. And uh, watching it back in post, I actually did a pretty crappy job of remembering my other moves. Because you get all these other moves, and I didn't even use them, but um, it was fun. And the reason I played that uh, this week is that the sequel had just come out a few days ago. I would have done it last Friday. Um, I would have done Shadow of Mordor last Friday, but Hat and Time came out. And Hat and Time was cute. And I decided to take cute over the excessive violence of Shadow of Mordor, but I was just really, I was really surprised. Um, I played it because uh, I thought that it would be a genuinely interesting title, but also because it won four Game of the Year awards, and I'm like, okay, this game must be good, but once I played it, I understood. It's not just for Lord of the Rings fans. It's for just, you know, fans of action adventure games in general. Oh, you already have your food? Yes. Oh. Okay. Hey, Mal, do you know what time it is? Bad time. I mean, it's not quite bedtime, but it's before bedtime, and we're like done with our day. Oh, yeah. 
so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's it's only quarter till ten, and we're all set. We've had our food. We have all of our stuff done for today. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be able to get in bed within the next like half hour, and then we'll be all set. The only problem is that my ultimate goal for today was to record, well not record, but just play uh, Fallout because I'm trying to work on the, I'm trying to work on creating episode 201, which um, <clears throat> I won't say anything about it, but if you, you know, if, if you've seen the series, which is probably out by now, you'll know how much effort probably had to go between 200 and 201, and uh, I never even got around to playing Fallout today because there was just so much other stuff to do, so I'll try and set everything up in such a way where I can just play most of the day tomorrow because I'm going to kind of have to. But that'll be fun. Who doesn't like playing Fallout? That'd be fun. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?